shortly after uh, I arrived in Ann Arbor was when they announced this um, agreement between the University of Michigan and what was then Metro Hospital, which was, I mean, providential for us. I mean, it was like the perfect alignment. My wife's family has really deep ties to, to West Michigan. I mean, literally everyone going back multiple generations is from West Michigan. Eventually, when the chance came to serve as chief medical officer here, it was, again, a little bit of a no-brainer. It really just worked out so well. It was able to move my research laboratory from Ann Arbor to uh, downtown Grand Rapids. And so really, it's everything. I mean, it's, it's perfect, you know? I mean, people always say there's no such thing as a perfect job. Um, which is actually, it turns out, not true. I think I, I think I actually have it, so, yeah. The mission of this hospital is to provide excellent care for everyone, literally everyone who lives here. And so that requires a different sort of skill set. Uh, uh, and, 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 and in some respects, it does require our providers to be excellent at everything. There's a huge population of people here in West Michigan, and what comes with that is also a huge population of, of experience and, and expertise as well. I think that one in, enormous resource that exists here in West Michigan is the Van Andel Institute. I think that there's just so much potential. You have two outstanding centers of scientific discovery, one in Ann Arbor, and one in Grand Rapids. And for various reasons, there hasn't really been a, a, a big track record of collaboration between the two. But I've come to learn over the past year or so that there's a tremendous appetite on both sides for the, for the two centers to work together. And so part of my um, enthusiasm for having this joint appointment is to do whatever I can to kind of help facilitate that. My research laboratory recently has completely narrowed its focus onto this thing called histotripsy um, because we think that we're very optimistic that this might be like the opportunity for the next big step for cancer immunotherapy. So it basically is this, if you take a bunch of high energy ultrasound pulses, but direct them all into one point in space, this tiny little point in space goes through such rapid pressure fluctuations that the cells in that space completely break apart. If you treat a tumor with histotripsy, not only do you destroy the tumor, but you teach the immune system to look for those tumors. And so if there's another tumor elsewhere in the body, the immune system starts to shrink that other tumor, even though you didn't actually directly treat that other tumor with histotripsy. Our hope is to use all of the sort of clinical expertise that exists here, the scientific expertise that exists at the Van Andel in collaboration with the University of Michigan to, to build uh, what we hope will be the sort of epicenter of histotripsy research here in, in Grand Rapids is our hope.